Well, hello. I am really loving today's message, even though it might seem like it's negative, talking about playing the victim card, but we all do it. I know as a coach and as a leader, sometimes I have high expectations of myself. And yet, and this is in this is also in the podcast, this week's podcast with Gail Barker. We talk about how we coaches can have some idea about ourselves, but we're human. And part of, I feel like our role as coaches is to do our personal growth work and to notice ourselves when we are falling into traps. And that victim trap is really easy to fall into. I learned a lot about this uh, very concept from Lynn Grabhorn, who she wrote a book, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. It's a great book. And she's got a playbook. I love playing with this. So here's what I, what in the message today, we can, it's not about making yourself wrong or like going into a shame place, but if you play with it, and this is why in my make it real recommendation, I actually encourage you to create your own little deck of cards so you can notice those phrases that have you feeling like, oh my gosh, other people are out to get me or they're somehow making me wrong or doing me wrong. And just look at that and look at it and, and see what's true about it and what isn't true about it. And what I think is really fun to do is see what other card you might want to play. What's the card that's going to have you feeling like yourself where you're connected to that part of you that is powerful. Even if you're sad or having a bad day, this isn't about shining over the hard parts. It's really about finding your own truth and power, no matter what your circumstances are, right? As we teach at Coactive, where I, where I am a leader, we're always a choice. I believe that. It's one of the things I love about coaching is knowing we are always at choice. So this is my challenge to you. What card are you going to choose today? And please let me know about it. And especially if you find some fun way to play around with all your ways of thinking so that you notice when you're playing the victim card or when you might be actually playing the joy card. I like that card a lot.